Hi there everyone and welcome to Tech Cravers. This is the new Google Pixel 8 Pro. It's a great phone from what I've observed during my two-day usage. While it might not be the first choice that comes to mind when considering an upgrade for gaming, it's the type of phone you opt for due to the exceptional software experience it offers, coupled with the remarkable AI tools provided by Google. However, in this video I thought we would test exactly that. How good is this phone for gaming and emulation? And is it worth your hard-earned money to upgrade to this year's version of the Pixel? Let's find out. And before we check out the actual gaming on this device, let's delve into some specs so we have something to compare to last year's model. For CPU, the Pixel 8 Pro have Google's new Tensor G3 chip, which is a non-core, meaning that it has 9 cores this time around. It also has a Immortalis G715S GPU and 12GB of RAM. The 12GB of RAM is what you get no matter how much internal storage you go for, but you can choose between 128, 256, 512 and 1 terabyte of internal storage. And there's no micro SD card slot, so keep that in mind when choosing storage capacity. The display is a 6.7 inch OLED at 1344 by 2992 pixels and a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. It's also 120 hertz and peaks on 2300 nits, which is much brighter than the 1500 nits on last year's model. Apart from that, it has a 50-50 mAh battery and all the usual connectivity options you might need. And of course it has the new Android 14 out of the box. But now it's time to see how well the Pixel 8 Pro can perform in real-life scenarios. Starting out with emulation and the Nintendo 3DS. The game is running in native resolution and I'm using the Citra MMJ emulator. I'm playing my GameCube games on the official Dolphin emulator from the Google Play Store, and it works great in native resolution. I actually think that the Pixel 8 Pro can handle most GameCube games at full speed.
Same with PSP, the whole library will be playable over the PPSSPP emulator and I'm playing God of War Change of Olympus at 3 times native resolution. Unfortunately, it's not the same with PS2. For some reason, the Pixel 8 Pro really struggles with the performance even at native resolution. And even if I'm sure that most games can be tweaked to work, I wouldn't buy the Pixel 8 Pro to play my PlayStation 2 games. And lastly I want to show you some native Android gameplay and specifically Cod Warzone Mobile. This game works really great with Pixel 8 Pro and the Backbone controller. So for Android games you're gonna have a blast with your new Pixel. And that's it for this short showcase of the Pixel 8 Pro in real life gaming situations. Everything was played out of the box without any tweaks. 3DS and GameCube will work well on this device, while PS2 will struggle. But if you plan to play mostly Android games, you're in for a treat. If you liked the video or if it helped you out, feel free to give it a thumbs up and drop a comment. Also consider subscribing to my channel for more showcases and content like this in the future. Thanks for watching, Tech Cravers out.